when your ground clamp is like this little cheap um, alligator clip like you find on jumper cables, this can often be a culprit um, when your welds aren't turning out the way they should or when you're getting an intermittent weld, like when it's going zzz, 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 and it's not consistently coming out like um, sounding like uh, frying bacon. So um, a way you can solve that is one method is to replace your ground clamp with one more like this where it's a big solid piece of bronze or brass or whatever this is and it has a lot of surface area um, to to connect with your metal it also has a really strong spring in it so there's a lot of clamping pressure that's one way or if you're stuck with using what you have one of these little cheapies one thing to note is on these Often the, the wire will actually be bolted only to one half of it, and the other half depends on electricity flowing through this rivet, which may or may not flow consistently. Um, so, uh, so try to end up with this, the, the leg of the clamp that has the wire on it. Try to have that actually connected on the actual metal that you're welding. So if you're, if you're clamping like this, um, this is a metal table so it's not as big a deal, but if you're like this, the wire is connecting to the bottom of the table and then the electricity has to come up around to the top and then into the metal piece. Whereas if you turn it over, then the, uh, the same part of the clamp that the wire connects to is connecting directly to your work piece and so you'll get a better electrical connection. Another way to improve the connection, because if you look at it, the points of contact on this are really only these four corners right at the top, at the at the the front of it, and that is really lousy for electricity to flow through, especially at the amperage we're using. So what you can do is use you can strip some copper wire and get so it's nice clean copper, and you can kind of make a little bird's nest and tuck it into the clamp when you clamp it onto the workpiece, and so you can end up you can go like this. So now you have hundreds or thousands of little contact points here instead of just those two or four little lousy contacts that can burn out you have tons of connection there you can do the same thing with kind of it's still flexible stranded wire but it's a little it's not as fine um, you can still bend that over itself and and clamp onto that like so or you can use this stuff which is basically a bonding strap for um, like automotive for bonding your grounding your engine to the frame of your car you can use a, a piece of this stuff to um, to wrap just around the top and bottom of your your metal put it in the in the jaws of the um, alligator clip and then clamp on there and then another way you can improve it is use some vice or um, vice grips or or a, a clamp like this or even a spring plastic spring clamp like this and you can just add clamping pressure to this clamp so that it's getting a really nice tight bite onto that base metal um, so you can get a really good connection another option is you can use the clamp if your your clamp that you're clamping your work with to the table um, if that is a good nice solid metal to metal connection you can ground the clamp which then connects to the workpiece that's another way to ground it it's um, not always the best way if if these connections are bad at all um, uh, but but this is set really really tight and especially if you added some clamping pressure here that's a really good way to get a really solid electrical connection there so you you don't have a poor ground